What I'd say, how I summarize it is, I teach these two concepts. I say, drastically decrease. So there you are, binge watching Hamza's videos from day till night. But then at the end of the day, you thought to yourself, why did I watch this guy's video again? Hamza, Andrew Tate, and David Goggins are highly respected people in the self improvement realm. They inspire many young people, especially men out there, to hustle and improve their lives. But not many can truly grasp what is the main message behind these three individuals. It's not going to the gym, it's not getting up early, it's not no fat. While all of these are important, there's one thing that most people forget, and that is delaying instant gratification and prolonging delayed gratification. They all put special emphasization on this. I teach these two concepts, I say drastically decrease instant gratification. And those are the, like the feel good, pleasurable things that we want to do right now, but they usually make our life worse in the long run. And then at the same time, you drastically increase the delayed gratification activities. And those are the ones which are uncomfortable and challenging and hard and difficult right now, but they make your life better in the long term. As a man, you have to sit there and say, I have to remove all the cheap dopamine, all the cheap replacements for what I'm actually looking for. And I tell them all the time because an example my father once gave me, it was, it's very much like picking up stones. It feels like a very useless activity out in the desert, picking up stones all day long. But you know, after 10 years, when all the stones turn into diamonds, you wish you picked up more. It's unreal how much time you waste during the day. And most of it is on these fucking computers, phones, you know, Instagramming back and forth, whatever the hook you call it shit nowadays. And if you think about it, this is the basis of every self-improvement journey. You must give up the comfort you have now and work on the things that matter to you. The thing that you want to see being a success. Complete the certain tasks that only can do things that are pleasurable. Wow. I know this is not new and you might be thinking, what the fuck, that's it? But think about it, have you really been delaying instant gratification? Do you still wake up and look at your phone the first thing in the morning? Are you always switching on your phone every time the notifications goes boop boop? Do you always say, ah, I'll play a match of PUBG, then I'll start reading? Do you watch this video without even subscribing to this channel? No, you already feel delaying instant gratification. You already feel. Whenever you are going to do something pleasurable like playing a video game or scrolling on social media, ask yourself, what are the hard things that you completed today? Do you really deserve to get your gratification now? Do you really deserve it? Bullshit! Stop bullshitting yourself. Just because you meditated for two minutes, that doesn't mean you have the free pass to go on Discord and chat with some whips. You got to think of the long term. You got to do something that is worth the effort for you to get your gratification. Instant gratification are the things that feel good right now, but they make your life worse in the long run. So that is the video games and porn. You know, they, they feel really fun right now. But then if you keep doing those things every single day, your life does take like a different trajectory, doesn't it? And so it gets worse. After deep work for two hours straight, then only you can allow yourself to submerge into gratification for only a very limited time. Yes. You can also expect to be wasting 2 hours on Netflix after only doing deep work for 2 hours. And if you want to rest, stop trying to rest with video games or social media. Go outside, get a walk, or just lie down. Your time is limited. Let me tell you one thing. Time is running out. You keep on sitting around wondering what the fuck you want to do. You're just going to run out of time. So make sure you do one thing. Stop following the fucking crowd. They may take time off, but you can't afford to. Everyone is given the same amount of time, but what are you doing if your time is what matters? Guys, if you don't sacrifice your short-term pleasures for the long-term gains, then you will eventually end up eating yourself. Really just made me think, instant gratification is like destroying the world. It literally is destroying the world. It's the fast food joints, the junk food, and people who drink alcohol, people who are just taking like a lot of drugs. You will look back on the time you scrolled your phone for hours and hours aimlessly and think to yourself, what have I done? Yes, you can still be doing self-improvement shit like working out and meditation and all. But are you just participating in self-improvement? Or are you winning? Are you really winning? Turn off YouTube! Go do something! Jesus Christ. What's wrong with people? This is exactly what you were talking about, about asking a question where you already know the answer to. You know the answer is to stop doing things that waste your time and apply yourself to something important. Now, this may not be a waste of your time, but let me tell you, you're a dumbass, clearly. It's like Googling how to get fit, like you just said. Everyone knows what a push-up is. Do 10,000 of them a day. And I wake up and I decide, even though I don't feel like working, I'm going to work my ass off. And you wake up way down there, a peon, and you can't be bothered to work. Until we meet again, take care and be a fucking rock.